this is week five and we did a lot this week so there's a lot um, in this video but here we are doing some more practice with our bow and she's doing a lot better with going down farther and actually going down um, putting her knee on the ground so she's doing really good with that and then I'm pretty sure this is our first time lunging outside of her pin so she's over in our round pin which is a bigger space but she's doing really, really good. So she's sending and walking around. Of course, she's getting distracted. She wants to eat the grass. Um, it needed mode. As you can see off to the side, there's um, some weeds. Um, again, she gets a little distracted and she wants to go off. Um, but like I said, there were some weeds and you can tell she didn't really like going through them. But I took that as an opportunity to kind of desensitize her and I made her go through them because I wanted her to be used to going through stuff like that, you know, in the future when we go on trail rides. Um, so I did ask her to go, go through all that tall grass. And of course, she's just being spunky. She's trying to avoid it, but she comes in to me really nicely. She sends really good there, and then we start to do it the other way. I'm trying to get her to move out a little bit. And she comes back in really nicely. And working on that draw and getting her to come towards me. So then we took her over to my neighbor's indoor arena, just right next door. We took Star with us, who's over there, um, getting into stuff. But he had this ball that we kind of played around with, and she kind of kicked it around a little bit, which is really good. Again, something to desensitize her to, get her used to having stuff touching her legs. Um, and she kind of had a little bit of fun with it. And then we were working on trotting in hand, which she was, she's a little bit of lazy, um, but this is really good, her trotting in hand with me. And then here we're heading home. So on the way home, to get home, we have to kind of walk next to the road. There is a ditch between us, so... It is pretty safe, but this was actually really good because when cars would pass us or stuff like that, then she got desensitized to cars and road noise, um, and especially walking over his asphalt driveway, which she was kind of unsure about coming over, um, and the rocks. She was really unsure about the rocks as well, but as you can see, she's doing really, really good on the way back home. Oh, there she's looking at the rock again. And back to eating. You can see there goes a car, and she doesn't care. So here we're back in the round pen, and we're working on trotting over some ground poles. And you can see the pole closest to the camera. The one end is propped up on the fence, so it's a little bit elevated um, to get her kind of used to having a little bit of a higher step, although she is going towards the <laughs> the lower end, um, but I lunged it over her first, but I wanted her to be able to do it um, right next to me, and again working on getting her to trot in hand and doing stuff like that to prepare for jumping. And she's been doing so good with trailering that um, on, I decided to see if she would go in by herself with just me sending, and again walking out without me sending, and she did. She did really good with this. Went right in. I was really proud of that. And again, I also practiced um, backing her out as well as um, her going out um, front first. And again, she just gets right back in. So 
So the last thing that we were working on was side passing. Um, this is one of the first times I think that I worked with her, and so I'm I'm using my whip to tap her side as well as my hand up by her neck to get her to push over and I would alternate from asking her to move her shoulder to move her hip um, and then eventually she was able to do both of those at the same time. But you can see just to start out, I ask her to move her shoulders and then I ask her to bring her hip around. And same thing with the other side. She actually side passes this direction a little bit better than she did the other side. And asking her to move her hip. That was really good. And finally this week, we started to, to learn a new trick, the Spanish walk. Um, so I'm just tapping her leg and I want her to pick it up and kind of throw it forward. She actually did really, really good with this. She caught onto this fairly quickly. And I'm also adding in the extra cue of me doing lifting my legs so that later on I wouldn't have to have a whip with me to cure. Overall, this week was very good.